Hello students, this is 1.18, first chapter in detail problem. And the question is the point travels along the x-axis with a velocity whose projection vx is presented as a function of time by the problem given. Assuming the coordinate of the point x equal to 0 at t equal to 0, draw approximate time dependent plot for the acceleration, x coordinate and the distance covered by the particle. So, पहले आप ये बात clearly समझे हैं हमने अपने graphical section में kinematics में आपको एक detailed query दी है कि आप कैसे एक acceleration time, velocity time and displacement time graph को plot करेंगे so अपनी उस theme को use करें एक बार clearly समझे question को this is a vt graph a particle is moving along x-axis it means it is the case of rectilinear motion particle is moving along x-axis velocity time graph is this and we know that the slope of vt graph slope of slope of vt graph provides acceleration we know that acceleration can be obtained by this and area of vt graph area of vt graph gives displacement gives displacement so these are the basic concepts अगर इस ग्राफ का स्लोप यूज करें तो हमें एक्सेलरेशन मिल जाएगा अगर एरिया भी यूज करें तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट मिल जाएगा यहां पहले भी आपको बता चुके हैं कि गैलीलियन इक्वेशंस v u at s u t half at square v square u square 2s अगर हम यूज करें तो वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इजी बट ग्राफिकल मेथड इज आल्सो अ मेथड बाय दिस यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन द स्लोप ऑफ vt ग्राफ गिव्स एक्सेलरेशन एंड द एरिया ऑफ vt ग्राफ प्रोवाइड्स displacement if we use this knowledge then how we have to solve the problem if by clearly sometimes 0 to 1 second the motion of particle is accelerated motion because in this interval velocity is increasing from 0 to 1 so slope of this graph will be uh, tan theta equal to perpendicular over base it is 1 by 1 and tan theta is equal to 1 means acceleration is 1 so in first part in interval 0 to 1 second in the interval 0 to 1 second acceleration equal to 1 we see that uh, in first 0 to 1 second interval acceleration is equal to 1 because the slope or tan theta of the line is equal to 1 and area of this part suppose it is d1 area of this part is 1 by 2 base into height it is 1 by 2 into 1 into 1 so it is half meter so displacement covered in this interval is half meter this is the Value, these are the values of A and D in displacement for 0 to 1 second interval and from 1 to 3 second interval from 1 to 3 second interval interval 1 to 3 second acceleration equal to 0 because uh, now the line uh, the graph is parallel to x axis so slope will be 0 the line slope is 0 and displacement in this interval is the area of this rectangle the area is uh, 2 into 1 base into height so displacement d2 equal to 2 meter and second part acceleration is this and displacement is 2 meter 2 meters is the displacement in this much part in third part displacement and acceleration are respectively in a 3 to 4 second interval acceleration equal to minus 1 because now the slope is 135 degrees slope should be measured always from positive x axis and in this time it is 135 degree so the slope of this line is 1 by 1 it is 1045 inside so outside it will be 135 and 10 135 is minus 1 slope is minus 1 and displacement is half again displacement d3 is half meter in fourth part in the interval 4 to 6 second in the interval 4 to 6 second acceleration will be equal to minus 1 again because this line continues up to 6 second and area of this segment d4 equal to 1 by 2 base into height it is 2 and this is also 2 1 by 2 into 2 into 2 it is 2 meter so displacement d4 will be 2 meter and acceleration is minus 1 in last part d5 area is 1 by 2 base into height it is 1 by 2 into 2 into 1 it is 1 meter and the slope is it is 10 theta equal to 10 theta equal to 2 by 1 it is 2 now so in last part uh, 6 to 7 seconds acceleration is 2 and displacement d5 is 1 meter so area and displacement so in these 5 parts displacements are respectively half meter 2 meter half meter 2 meter and 1 meter 
and accelerations are 1 in this part, 0 in this part, minus 1 in these two parts and the last part it will be 2 because 10 theta is now 2 by 1. So these are the accelerations and uh, displacements and uh, we obtained all these data from the graph, by the graph, by using the graph of Vt. Now if we want to make a plot for acceleration and time then it will be for this much interval 0 second, 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second, 5, 6, 7 and onward journey. It is, we have to plot the graph for 7 and some extra seconds. So these are the data and now acceleration, maximum value of acceleration is 2 so plus 1 plus 2 and minus 1 minus 2. Now uh, in the first part 0 to 1 second acceleration is 1. It is 1 and consistent in next interval 1 to 3 second it is 0. The second line will be x axis itself. This is the second part. This is the first. Uh, it is 0. Oh sorry. These data are not from 0. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and onward. And this is 0. What is this, that? So 0 to 1 second this is the line. And from uh, 1 to 3 second this will. 0 हमें ओरिजिन पे लेना चाहिए था तो 0 से 1 सेकंड में 1 का एक्सेलरेशन आफ्टर दैट इट इज 0 फ्रॉम 3 टू 4 सेकंड इट इज माइनस 1 इट इज माइनस 1 आफ्टर दैट फ्रॉम 4 टू 6 इट इज अगेन माइनस 1 सो लाइन अप टू दिस पॉइंट एंड 6 टू 7 सेकंड दिस इज पॉजिटिव 2 सो इन द लास्ट पार्ट इट विल बी प्लस 2 आफ्टर दैट द लाइन इज पैरेलल टू एक्स एक्सिस दैट मींस नाउ देयर इज नो एक्सेलरेशन सो वी हैव टू प्लॉट द लाइन पैरेलल टू एक्सिस so these are the parts, first part, second part, third part, fourth part, AC mein hai. 3 to 4, 4 to uh, 6 and uh, finally it is uh, plus 2 for 6 to 7 seconds. It means 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 3 seconds and just, this is the graph for acceleration and time. After that it will be parallel to x axis. So this is the plot AT equivalent to this VT plot. Similarly for displacement and time plot. Uh, Data are the same. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds and onward. And displacements are respectively half meter, it is 1 meter, it is 3 by 2 meter, 2 meter, uh, 2 and a half, 5 by 2 meter, and finally it is 3 meter. And after 3 meter, it is maximum. Uh, need 2 to 4, 1, 5 and 6 meter. It is 3, 6 meter we require because we have to plot distance time graph also. So change these data. Take uh, the scale as 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter and 6 meter. These are 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter, 6 meter. D2 is uh, 2 meter. And D4 is also 2 meter. Uh, we write here these data as A is equal to 0 and D2 equal to 2 meter. A equal to minus uh, 1 in 4 to 6 interval is minus 1 and uh, D4 is also 2 meter. These are the data. So this is the graph now <coughs> from first 0 to 1 second it is acceleration and we know that the acceleration for if VT graph is a line with some slope then uh, displacement time graph will be a parabola either with uh, either upper phased parabola or down phased parabola. This is the part of acceleration. So it is it will be an upper phased parabola and half meter distance it will cover in first second. So this is the first part of graph. It is an upper phased parabola and showing acceleration of the particle. From 1 to 3 second it is uh, moving with constant velocity. So displacement will be will make a straight line for that interval. It is 2 meter next from half to 2 and half. It is a straight line now. After that from 3 to 4 seconds it deaccelerates with one retardation. So displacement will again be a parabola but down phase parabola for next 1 second and the distance covered is half meter. So it will be up to 3 meter for next 1 second. So the graph will be like 
this part this is the first part second part third part and from 4 to 6 second it decreases displacement decreases because now velocity is negative it means particle turns its direction so for next 2 second this will again be a down phased parabola it is retardation again so graph for next 2 second will be <coughs> it is uh, uh, half meter then two and half it is three meter now two meter we have to diminish so one meter the remaining displacement will be one meter in next two second and the graph will be like this this is the part for next two second and in the final second it is six to seven second in last one second it is acceleration of uh, two and one meter dis displacement particle covers so for last one second the graph will be like this so this is the graph of uh, displacement in time for sketching distance time graph we can imagine that distance downward movement can be taken displacement is a vector quantity it can decrease but distance is a scalar quantity it can not decrease so, uh, three meter ke baad, par displacement down movement later. Agar hum usi ko ek mirror is point ko ek mirror man ke uski image bana de, to distance graph ho So this part is sketched as this. It is three to five meter. It means now we have to make the sketch of this, this part, and the last part six to seven will be this, and its image will be. Its image will be this. So this is distance time graph, this is distance time graph and the return, this part is displacement time graph. So displacement time graph, distance time graph and acceleration time graph and all these graphs are based on this VT time, velocity time graph. But then we tell you last time that VT graph is defined by the slope of acceleration and the area of displacement is defined by the area of displacement. We have plotted this theme on this plot. अगर VT ग्राफ एक स्ट्रेट लाइन विद सम स्लोप है तो वो एक्सेलरेशन रिटार्डेशन में से किसी को भी रिप्रेजेंट कर सकती है या भी अगर वो एक्सेलरेशन है तो रिप्रेजेंट्स एक्सेलरेशन देन दिस विल बी अ अपर फेज्ड पैराबोला लाइक दिस दिस विल बी द शेप ऑफ पैराबोला एंड इफ इट रिप्रेजेंट्स रिटार्डेशन देन इट विल बी अ डाउन फेज्ड पैराबोला ये 3 सेकंड टू 6 सेकंड रिटार्डेशन है तो देखिए ग्राफ का फर्स्ट पार्ट डाउन फेज्ड पैराबोला इट इज इट इज लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस फेज इट इज दिस so these are uh, decreasing, these are graphs along x-axis and on the time of acceleration from 0 to 1 second it is upper phased, it is like this. This is the shape of parabola for acceleration and this will be the shape of parabola for retardation. So acceleration and retardation by using all these uh, concepts uh, we uh, draw this graph. Thank you.